this is awful. This is, but this is, how many times have we seen them go at it? Are they going to have another main event at SummerSlam? This is WWE's fault. This is all their fault. This is all their fault. You want to know why? Because all they had to do was book the people that they had. All they had to do was book the talent that they have. Not let go of the talent that they ended up letting go. Work with them. And instead, we keep going back to the same goddamn well. Are you guys not tired of this? Y'all can't tell me this excites you. How? We have two part-time champions going at it. Or well, part-time individuals going at it. How is that fun? How is that entertaining? How is that great for the rest of the roster? Tell me. Someone in the chat, tell me. Tell me. How does that make sense? Where does that make sense? This makes no damn sense, bro. I am sick and tired of seeing this damn match. I'm tired of it, bro. Oh, my God. This is awful. I, I'm, I'm really a loss for words only because... We did all of this at WrestleMania to only be back in the situation again where two part-timers are about to potentially go at it to hold the belts hostage. It doesn't... You know who wins in this situation? Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns, payday. You know who loses in this match, in this situation? The fans. Because guess what? The belts are still going to be MIA. Someone said in the chat, oh, this is just a one-off. He's just a making an appearance. No, he f 5 the bloodline. Michael Cole clearly said he wants his titles back. That's what they're setting up. I don't know if they're setting it up for Money in the Bank. I think there were rumors that he was going to be at Money in the Bank. I don't want to see that at Money in the Bank. I don't want to see that at SummerSlam. I don't want to see that no more. No more. I didn't want to see it. No more. I'm done, bro. I don't have a problem with Brock. I think Brock's new character and gimmick is fun. I just put him with somebody else, God damn it! I'm tired of seeing him face Roman, bro. I'm just tired of seeing it. Some can say, oh, you can say the same thing about the Stone Cold and Rock. The thing about the Stone Cold and Rock, they didn't always face each other. They were facing other people because there was other people on the roster for them to face. Uh, I'm just disappointed, bro. I'm very disappointed in the booking decision here. Bro, th that was, ah, uh, yeah, I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed, bro. That's that's all I can say. Um, I'm not even frustrated. I'm just disappointed because we're literally doing the same thing we just did a few months ago. I, I would like for our champions to be on the show. Consistently. And I can tell you this now. Whoever wins that match, they're not going to be on the show like that. Monday Night Raw doesn't even really have a, a champion, to be honest with you. What happened, MDJ Nation? Brock Lesnar returned. Again. I'm over it. I'm over it, bro. I just I just don't care anymore, bro. It's, it's, just, it's just sad, bro. It just it's just very disappointing. So hey man. If you enjoyed SmackDown, let me know. Put it in the chat, put it in the comment section. You enjoyed SmackDown. If you didn't enjoy SmackDown, let me know as well. Put that in the comment section. Put that in the chat. Would y'all rate this SmackDown on a scale of one to ten? Cause I'm gonna give this SmackDown a good fat old I'm gonna give it about a uh it's like a three out of ten for me, man. It would have been higher because the, the last match was fan fantastic. But outside of that, what happened after it? I give this a 3 out of 10 show, bro. The last match saved the show and then it just fell off a cliff. So, yeah, I'm over it. Appreciate everyone that's been in the chat. Thank you guys so much for 
saying the entire time. And um, yeah, man, I'm out of here. I'm I'm done. Y'all have a good one. I'm I'm signing out.